So what I'm going to do is just give it a series of little tests to see how well it sticks. Okay, so I'm going to try a prior test first. Try and wedge something between it. So it has unstuck it on the corner there by doing that. Okay. Stick it back down. Now I'm going to try an end on pull. Out like this. Yep. Dislodged it pretty easily. And now I'm going to try pulling it at 90 degrees to the material it's stuck to. It comes off pretty easily. And you can see from the adhesive pattern there that it hasn't stuck all the way across either because of the shape of the rubber. It's got a valley down the middle. Now let's have a look at the how the tape itself is stuck to it. Mm, it comes off really clean. So a good tape will tear in half. Rather than come unstuck from its material it's bonded to. So the double sided tape they use is not very good. Alright, so there's just one more test I want to perform now and that's the flap test. That's going to be a good one. So because it's not a rigid wing, right? I want to see if this flaps while we're driving down the road under wind pressure, right? So let's chuck a camera under there and go for a drive and find out. Alright guys, so now we've put our Epman stick on lip through a series of tests. We've done a stick test, we've done a damage test, we've done a coating integrity test, and we've done a flap test. Now as you've just seen from that flap test, it does have a slight little flap there at 110 on the highway, but it's very minimal. So I don't think anyone standing watching your car as it fangs past is going to notice it nor do I think anyone in front of you is going to notice it if you're following them. So really it's nothing to be concerned about. So how do I rate the product? Well the rubber extrusion is good, there's no air pockets in it, there's no flashing on it, it's a nice smooth finish, it's got a nice shape and the coating quality of it is really nice, it's finished well. The only downside of the product is the supply double sided tape is terrible, it doesn't even stick to the rubber properly so you're really going to have to swap that out for something else, maybe a, um, a proper 3M tape or a Gorilla tape um, or just do what I did and put on with Sigaflex. So for quality I give it a 3 out of 5. For design, hey it's just a piece of extruded rubber so there's really not much to say about the technical points of its design it's, um, it's a pretty good shape. It seems to give the effect of a front air dam pretty well. Um, so what more can you say than that from design? Uh, it's a piece of rubber. So I give it a three and a half out of five for design. For functionality, hey, it's really a no-brainer that this is purely aesthetic. It's not going to give you any downforce. Having said that, it's not going to give you any upforce. So it's not going to affect your car in a negative or a positive way. It's just purely to look 
cool. Um, and I think it, it kind of achieves that. Uh, it gives the impression of a front air dam. Probably doesn't look quite as good as like a fiberglass 22B replica front air dam or something like that. But it is on the other side of that comment, very, very affordable. Uh, and also because it's flexible, it's, you know, it's probably a little bit more resilient to skipping on curbs or something when you bottom out on the front. So, you know, you're not going to worry about it as much either as an expensive lip. Um, so, hey, for functionality, it, uh, you know, it, it looks fine. Um, does sort of what you expect it to do. And uh, I give it a 3 out of 5. So, look, overall, as a product, um, I think it's I think it's a good product. Um, I certainly don't think it's an amazing product because it's only a it's only a stick on rubber lip. Um, it's honestly it goes on better than I thought it would um, because it's moldable around the bumper bar, which I didn't think it would be to start with. So I give this Epman Carbon Fiber Effect Stick on Lip an overall rating of three and a half out of five. So that pretty much wraps us up here on this episode of Nev Reviews. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and thank you for liking, sharing, and your support to the channel by subscribing. And uh, we'll catch you next time.